Hi, and welcome to our demonstration using the ProAct RCA software to show the value of using templates within root cause analysis. Today, our feature will be focused on the fault tree analysis of clinical alarms. So let's get started. Okay, as I said previously, we're going to demonstrate how to effectively and efficiently call upon RCA logic using current technologies. Uh, I'd like to take a moment to thank personally Dr. Hyman for the permission to use his article entitled Fault Tree Analysis of Clinical Alarms, uh, which was provided by the following reference. So let's go ahead and see how we can take the value of this knowledge and experience and inculcate it into our root cause analysis efforts real time. Okay, the event in this case is going to be patient harm. Okay, let's start with our event, which is going to be patient harm of some kind. It's related to our mode, which is going to be alarm related. So how can we have an alarm related incident resulting in patient harm? The patient condition triggers the alarm but is not responded to in a timely manner. The combined conditions of the patient condition not otherwise observed and the patient condition should have triggered the alarm but did not and the combined conditions of the patient becomes critical but relevant parameter not monitored and the patient condition not otherwise observed. Okay, so let's start with the patient uh, condition triggers the alarm but is not responded to in a timely manner. The possibilities of that is the alarm does not reach the staff. How could the alarm not reach the staff? The alarm sounds in an ineffective location. The volume is too low. It could be a communications failure. It could be environmental confusion. The alarm is mismanaged by the software. The combined conditions of inadequate backup staff and the staff was in, in, in unanticipated locations. The alarm was mismanaged by the human interpreter. So when we're looking at possibilities and, and we have a situation that involves that the alarm does not reach the staff, these are viable hypotheses that should be backed up with evidence as to which did or did not occur. Okay, we will collapse this because we want our eye to follow what we're focusing. Staff was too busy. How could that be? Unusual set of alternative demands or the combined conditions of a typical set of alternative demands and chronic understaffing. Staff deliberately ignores the alarm. Staff is confused about the criticality of the alarm. Staff is confused about which alarm is for which patient. Again, we, these are all considerations in terms of hypotheses that would need to be validated. Okay, let's go back to our combined conditions number one. The patient condition was not otherwise observed. How can that be? Inadequate vigilance, inadequate staffing, or other. You never have a template that has everything. So as we develop situations and RCAs and we find things that add to the knowledge and experience of this template, then we can fill these blocks in and make it that much more comprehensive. Patient conditions should have triggered the alarm but did not. How can that happen? System failure. How can we have a system failure which could have caused the patient condition to have triggered the alarm, but, did, but not. It could have been disconnected, we could have had a hardware issue, and we could have had a communications failure. Okay, another feature that we want to be able to demonstrate with the ability to call upon logic as we need it is that say we had a series of hundreds of templates, uh, which the ProAct software has about a, currently about 170, is that I want to be able to look deeper under communications failure and what I want to do is search for parent-child relationships. An example of a parent-child relationship is that system failure would be the parent here and the child blocks would be disconnected hardware and communications failure. But now I want to do a keyword search on communications failures and I know that I have communication in some form or fashion throughout our series of human error templates. So I could call upon these previous suggestions and find out other options that people had thought of in the past on other types of analyses. Distractive environment, uh, hand to ED communication, hardware issues, 
imprecise communications, inadequate uh, communications. So that you can see, there's a series of things in here that we could check. Okay, let's uh, collapse system failure here and go to usability issues. How could we have us usability issues? Uh, well, we could have them due to the operator. How can we have operator issues? The alarm communications are misset. And I say as a cross-reference here, continue at alarm parameters misset, which is the uh, associated node right here. Alarm parameters misset. Alarm sound misset. It's off or too close. So essentially, all three of these hypotheses are following the same logic under alarm parameters misset. How can that be? The design is overly complex. The alarm settings are hidden. They're deliberate because of false alarms. How can the design be overly complex? Too many steps, not intuitive, too time consuming. How can we have too many steps? The alarm settings are hidden. How can it not be intuitive enough? Alarm settings hidden. How can it be too time consuming? Alarm settings are hidden. So you can see the commonalities that when we get to systemic issues uh, that we find a lot of things that are relative to numerous paths that may, we may find in a logic tree. De uh, deliberately because of false alarms. How could we deliberately because of false alarms allow the alarm parameters to be misset? The alarm settings are hidden, just as we said earlier with the rest. Okay. So let's collapse these and we'll go to our third leg, which is the combination of the patient becomes critical, but relevant parameter not monitored, and the patient condition not otherwise observed. Uh, this little logic symbol here represents Boolean logic, which is an AND symbol, uh, indicating that the conditions have to both exist. How can the patient become critical, but relevant parameter not monitored? and you'll see that we're cross-referencing here, continue at the usability issues that we described previously, poor choice of monitoring slash alarms, and again, the other space which allows us to be able to incorporate our own uh, expertise and experience and logic so that we can build a more comprehensive template. Okay, so as you can tell, what we're trying to demonstrate is that when we're analyzing something very methodically, we're going to continue to ask how could something occur, and we want the possibilities to come up. Now, this will incorporate possibilities from other people, as well as we never want to be able to negate our own knowledge and experience by exhausting what we know to be the case, and then we can look at templates to see what other people have done in the past. Okay, this concludes our short eye presentation. I'd like to thank you for your time because I know we're all very busy people. For more information on the PROACT methodology, software, and RCA knowledge management templates, please visit www.reliability.com. If you would like to download a copy of this article featuring this template, uh, please click on the icon below. For a live presentation, please contact our Mr. John Bartlow at 1-800-457-0645. Thanks again for your time.